Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This uh, thought that I am getting ready to share with you on today really uh, just uh, woke me up and um, this morning as I was like eating my breakfast, I was just thinking about um, our minds, our minds, how it's important that uh, we renew our minds uh, daily that we're being mindful of what our thoughts are and what we are listening to and what we are believing I am a firm believer that we are choosing what we think about whether if you believe it or not you are choosing you are housing in your own body this is your body um, this is your soul and you are choosing your thoughts and I want to talk about being mindful of the thoughts that you are choosing I remember uh, there was um, a recording that I was watching and or was it an audiobook but I was listening to it um, either way and it was really talking about how if you look back in your past and what you have created um, in your world it had to do with your beliefs and how you were thinking and in order to shift your now in order to shift your future you have to change the pattern and how you used to think and change the pattern and the habits of your thinking so you are not um, mindlessly doing things you, everything that your actions your beliefs has to do with you making that choice okay and I want you to really hone in on that when um, before I was awakened to this truth I believed that I didn't have the power um, to um, control my thoughts and a lot of especially when um, a, trauma and pain happened in my life um, I really felt powerless and I did a lot of blaming on the outside and blaming on someone else or well if I wasn't raised like this um, I wouldn't have thought the way that I thought um, or will this happen um, so I have to act accordingly and if you can hear what I'm saying you're really paying it pay attention to what I'm saying everything that I just mentioned had has a lot to do with what being powerless feeling that you can't feeling that there is an outside form or an, or someone or something or an experience that says that you've said that I have power or I I have said past tense that I have power over what has happened to me or what they have done to me or what I have experienced because of this I can't that's really what we are saying and the truth is that is not the truth that's the truth the truth is that it's not the truth the truth is that we are choosing daily the truth is that you have the power to change your beliefs and to change your reality and to change your life and I know this can be very hard because the brain often is so ancient what I mean by that is it only knows what it has been saying yes to all this time and only so what I'm saying is it only knows or is familiar with your habits is it your old habits your old beliefs is it only knows that it only knows that and the ego part of us 
will defend, will defend, will defend, will defend, will defend. It will rise up and it will do its best to keep those beliefs or to keep uh, what you think you have to hold on to, what you think you have to believe about yourself. Um, and I want to show you that you have the power over that. You have the power over your ego to stand in the truth of who you really are. And that power has been given to us by God or the divine. That power is within us. We have a piece of that. We have that, 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 that truth of who we are, our true selves, our spirit, or our higher self. This is the truth of who we are. And in listening to that, this is where wisdom is. This is a place of um, truth, a place of presence, a place of honor, um, a place of um, love, a place of healing, a place of guidance, a place of protection. A place of stillness. This is that presence that we all have. You know, before, before I was awakened to fully acceptance, I'll take that back. I always knew that I had that presence within me. Um... I was consumed with what I thought I had to be. I was consumed with my old beliefs. I was consumed with, oh, well, you know, I was raised this way, so this is how life is supposed to be. I was consumed with me, uh, my insecurities of, of me being a black woman or or, or I was consumed with um, the low self-esteem that I had within myself. I was so consumed with all of these things, trying to be a good mom, not really accepting myself, having weight problems, not really being able to get to the weight that I desired, not feeling like I was enough trying to create this image of what I thought I had to be in order to be accepted. Trying to be the image of what I thought I had to be in order to be accepted or validated as a woman. What was considered sexy. What was considered um, acceptable. This was all, and I'm quite sure many more, but these are the things that just popped up in my head and the things that I battled with. And this was all that I was just trying to juggle and fight and hold and defend and believe. And what I did not know and what I do know now <laughs> is that the divine presence within me is a very thing that can heal and that has healed all of that. Has healed how I viewed myself and it has allowed me to reverence the very presence of who I am. Everybody has it. I think for black women and I can only I can only speak for for this because I am one. I think for black women we have such a divine intuitive guide within us. Everyone does, but I'm just speaking on black women in this particular um, discussion. 
Every black woman has such a divine, intuitive guide given by God. This divine presence, essence of who we are. And that gets ignored, that gets washed down because I know for me, when you grow up as a black girl, you're taught to be strong. You're taught to um, don't, you know, don't take anything. Don't take any, don't, 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 don't. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure. <laughs> do, 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 do. And all of these um, walls and defense mechanisms that were so strong because it was, you know, passed down to me was so strong, was so, um, you know, you have to, you have to be this way in society. And although all of those, uh, what I was taught and what I saw and how I perceived things, although I understood where they came from, what it did for me was it allowed me, I ignored my own intuition, my own divine guidance, um, because I believed it. And the beauty of my awakening, when I was trying to be all those things, and when my life just came crashing down, that was really my saving grace. That was the light at the end of the tunnel, it was my awakening call. It was my soul saying, we're about to be free. And I really thought that God was on the outside of me. And I thought that God was going to fix me in a sense of that I didn't have God that lived within me, that I didn't have this divine presence that lived within me. So I for a while, I felt what was speaking to me on the inside. But because of my beliefs, I thought that I wasn't enough to adhere to what I was listening to, to adhere to what I was believing, to adhere to what I knew was speaking to me. And so over time, what I found out is that the very thing that I believe was on the outside of me really was within me. That all of what and who I thought I had to be, what I thought I had to perceive as my sense of uh, being a woman and all of these things, I found out that that wasn't the divine true essence of who I was. That it was really, in a, in a nutshell, it was just other people's stuff. Other people's perception. And labels of how they saw me. And, and from that, also just my, from that belief, I kept looking for that very thing to validate those beliefs. So I remember growing up not feeling enough and because it was this perfection or kind of like this porcelain doll that I felt I had to maintain. Don't mess up, 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 don't mess up. Like <laughs> that's what it was. Don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Stay, stay straight. You know, keep your legs closed. It was just like, right? Everything was just like, uh, 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 uh. I was just like, okay, did I do that right? Did I do this? Okay, then my mind was everywhere, 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 um, trying to fill all these holes. And like I said, when just everything came crashing down on me in my life, it was my wake up call. It was God's wake up call for me telling me that that isn't who you are and I'm getting ready to show you who you are through love. 
I'm getting ready to show you who you are through truth. Remember when I said earlier, when I said that I thought that God was on the outside of me, but really what happened is the presence of God lives within. I found out that the, the, the path to my healing, the path to me shifting my beliefs, the path to me trusting in here, the path to that was going within. And as I went within and I began meditating, you might say, well, what kind of meditation do you do? It is, I want you to one, not get so caught up in what you should do in meditation, but rather by understanding that meditation is really just about being still in your own divine presence, being still in the presence of God. Being still, being still, being still, being still. Listening. Hearing. And oftentimes, being. And in meditating, there could be times when the ego part of us comes up or doubt comes up, you know, those negative thoughts come up. It doesn't mean that you aren't doing it correctly because meditation is not about doing something correctly. It is about getting still in the presence of God. It is about being still and listening to your own vibration. Going back to that going back to that doesn't have to take 20 30 minutes even when your spirit has spoken something to you or when God has spoken a promise to you or uh, whatever truth that you hear that is coming up as far as who you are whatever truth you hear that's coming up or whatever vision or desire that you might that you might have in that meditation you are really shifting you're shifting gears you're shifting that vibration you are becoming in alignment when you are meditating you're getting quiet and if you are meditating for anything that you are manif that you desire to manifest or that you desire to you know happen in your life same thing it is about being still and saying yes to that. Saying yes to that and being mindful of the thoughts that would deter you from that. Being mindful of the thoughts that would, that would deter you from that. I'm going to talk about on the next video of how being mindful of those thoughts and how they could deter you, okay, and understanding the power that you truly have.